Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Dick, and today we are going bust down middle part glueless. So this one comes courtesy of Yolisa. They sent over this beautiful wavy textured lace wig. Not gonna have to cut the lace off. Yes, the lace came already cut. It already came with the center part, and it already came with these beautiful curls you see here. So literally all I have to do is just like plop her on my head. I did go ahead and like camouflage the lace to match my skin. And then I did add like, you know, a little bit of baby hair because I just felt like it was just too simple and easy of a tutorial to not do anything at all. You'll also see me add some layers with this one, just a little bit of light layer, and that's just going to create a little bit more fullness in the wig, even though it doesn't need it. But you know, when the wig is so easy and just a very seamless one, two, three step install, I always feel myself just trying to do extra to give you guys a little bit more. So I love the way this beautiful wig came off. And as I did mention, she is glueless. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Let me show you guys. Right, so comb from BDECBD.com. I'm going to put it in there. And as you guys can see, not bonded down. And then just press it back in. And it looks glueless. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys jump right into the tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, it would help me out so much if you check the description box. All the questions you may have throughout the video will be answered there as well as a direct link to this wig. Now let's jump right into it. Okay, ladies, let's get right into it. I'm going to start off by adding a little foundation powder into my wig cap so that it can match. This is the wig straight out of the box. She is a wear and go body wave 5x5 lace closure wig in the length 20 inches, 180% density. And as you guys can see, the lace comes pre-cut and the hair comes curled. She's buzzed down middle part. And did I say she's a closure wig? You guys know it's up and it's stuck i'm so ready to install this one now you guys already know step one for me to put a wig on is to put on that elastic band first once i have that in position i pull the back of the wig on and then secure that and then pull the front on and this is what she looks like on i love the fact that when they cut the lace they didn't cut it straight across they gave it more of a scalloped detail which makes it so that it doesn't show up as well it's kind of like a camouflage it, it kind of cancels out or hides that line of demarcation and then this is me just installing the wig i did use the even adhesive and really i just wanted to melt the lace and get it like super thin and just seamless this one fits glueless and you can definitely see that in just the appearance but again i just wanted to make sure that it just gave like out the scalp you know what i mean so you guys can definitely see the difference even without a lace tint of how much of a difference it made to just melt that lace you guys know i love a good dynamic duo so i'm just going in with the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb to flatten things out to be honest this one was already flat so the before and after from like one side to the other um definitely wasn't a big difference i just i don't know it's a placebo thing i just feel like even if the wig is flat it makes a difference to me it's like if you flat iron straight hair that's you know already straight did it make a difference and to me a lot of the times it does and this is the case here where i don't think you can definitely see like the, the before and after uh difference i guess you can say but it made a difference to me so that's all that matters i'm going to bring the look together by adding a little concealer along the parting as well as some foundation powder in a darker shade than my complexion along the hairline now when it comes to the pre-cut lace i love the way they did it and it definitely definitely was really really nicely done it definitely is a great idea to order this especially if you have trouble with um, cutting your lace or you're a little bit nervous they will do it for you um and then again you just melt it in and then add your powder and you're good to go and from here the wig definitely fits glueless um i just like to do that sticky method where like i go ahead and bond it down with a glueless adhesive and that way when i take it off tonight but then i put it back on tomorrow it's almost like it's sticky so that not only does it sit on my head nicely um it'll melt if that makes any sense now I pretty much was done. The hair was styled. It was installed. The lace is taken care of. But I started messing with it just because it was like too easy. So I did add a little bit of oil sheen which hashtag when is the last time you've seen anybody especially me use oil sheen. I found this in my collection and I used to like I remember growing up 
Oshin was always a staple in getting your hair done, especially at the salon. So I used it and I did like the sheen it gave. The smell was nostalgic. Um, and then here I am just touching up a few of the curls on the left side. The right side didn't need to be touched up and I think it's just me. I'm left handed so I think I just touch my hair way too much and so don't touch your hair as much as me and you won't have any work as far as like a touch-up goes now here i am again just doing just doing the most you guys can see how seamless the hairline is and i love it but i did end up going in and adding a little bit of baby hair and i don't even know if you would consider this baby hair because it's not like the swoops it's very 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 short maybe even a quarter inch long and it's just sparse pieces not uniform i just want to like make it so that like when I wear the wig from day to day there's something that again helps that line of demarcation of like where the lace start to not just be so apparent and of course we make it look great on social media but in person I just really feel self-conscious when I have that you know lace just there and there's nothing covering it if it's not melted like when I'm wearing my wigs glueless I like something in front of it and that helps me to not be able to feel self-conscious about people seeing it I did add a little bit of layer in the front just to help with the feather bang look and that pretty much was it this was super simple easy glueless install don't need much at all and of course it looks amazing on okay ladies so we are done with the look loved this install bust down middle part closure wig my fave i think you guys already know that if you know me by now if there was a million dollar question what is ashley's favorite type of wig it doesn't even matter the texture it's just bust down middle part closure wig that fits glueless we're gonna be all right <laughs> if i have this combination i'm gonna be good and it's always 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 the case this one here is even more special because two things it came with the lace already cut off for me. Three things. It came glueless, so it's going to fit me glueless. I'm going to show you guys in just a moment. I do have it bonded down, but you guys don't like to do the whole, like, sticky method where, like, I bond it down with, like, a glueless adhesive just to get it sticky and to kind of, like, let it melt into my hairline and let it, like, just marry and just kind of, like, the introduction of it all. And then throughout the week, I'm just able to take it off and put it on, and it's just going to, like... Kind of still have a little bit of that sticky residue that's going to help it to just look a little bit more melted and not look like it's sitting on top of my head. Um, and then number two is the fact that it came with the lace already cut. Not only was it cut, it was cut to precision. So you guys know I don't like a blunt shirt across cut. I will do it sometimes just because why not? But typically I prefer when it's a little bit more jagged. That's going to give you the camouflage look. Um, and then from there... It was already styled, so I didn't have to do anything at all. I am noticing that because I went ahead and messed with the hairline, it is not blending like it once was. But just adding that little step kind of like opened up the hairline. I feel like it was just looking a little bit too dense. And sometimes all you need to do is just pull a few hairs forward and then, you know, voila. So I love this one. I feel so happy because I've been having a lot of closure wig options. And this one here I love because I feel like natural straight hair is easy because i can put it in a ponytail for like sports pilates blah 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 um the wavy textures give like daytime with my leggings or whatever if i don't want to do straight but i like to save my wigs with the curls in it for like nighttime when it's time to go out to eat when it's time to have a little bit of fun and be in an actual adult and not just in mommy mode so this definitely is going to get its use i love her so much and let me show you guys the packaging so if i didn't mention already this one did come from yolisa hair i actually received this one in the mail today and i was excited to install because again buzz down middle part it's already curled i don't have to cut the lace everything else got pushed to the back so this one here is a medium sized cap, 180% density. It's a five by five closure lace wig in the length 20 inches. And all the information is on the back that the wig was actually in. And inside we do have a good amount of goodies here. So they gave us a wig band or a milk belt as I like to call it. It does say Yolisa. They gave me a nice long piece of elastic. Lately companies have been giving me like this short little piece that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. This one here is a nice long piece. So that one is definitely gonna come in handy. They also gave me a pack of 3d lashes super nice this looks like a like a satin like headband that you could put around your hairline um baby hairbrush wig caps a little information card and then this here is a dust bag 
I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go from here. Be sure to check out Yolisa Hair. A direct link to this unit is in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!